it's interesting. They're, 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 if you ask a hundred countertenors, you'll get a different, a hundred different answers at least. Um, in my opinion, I, I think the technique of singing falsetto for a man is not all that different from the technique of singing in full or chest voice for a man or for a woman singing head voice. I think much of the difference in sound between a man and a woman singing in the same range is about the size of the person and the different shapes of the different resonant, resonating chambers in a male or a female human. Um, and I wonder if also some of it isn't just sort of a per uh, perception bias thing where you don't necessarily expect that sort of sound to come out of someone who looks like me. So when you hear it, even if it does sort of sound like a woman if you weren't looking at me, but when you see me, it, there's, a, there's a dissonance. For me, I, I started off my studies pretty late. I, I didn't really start. I played violin and viola growing up, but I didn't start singing until I was in high school, long after my voice had changed. And I started off as a tenor, and I was okay, but I couldn't figure out my top. Um, and I always had this other voice that I always thought was a joke growing up long ago, um, until some people started telling me about the early music world and countertenors. I had never heard the term. Um, so for me, most of my formal training was as a tenor, and it, the training didn't work all that well for me as a tenor, it worked okay, but all of that training then applied to my countertenor voice, which just, that's where my voice lives for this sort of repertoire, and I just applied the same training. And then there, of course, there are, there are little things that are different, but that's true for any any individual voice or a bass versus a tenor versus a female alto. We've all got different things to, to work on and different things that are easy.